you've probably seen our construction, like here, here, or here. We're building the biggest transit expansion in the country. So along with good coffee and software, there's one more thing we can all be proud of. We are building bridges, digging tunnels, laying 94 miles of new track, and creating 60 new stations. But there's one more thing we need to make this expansion a success. Trains, a lot more trains. Well, I like to say that no one gets a ride from Linwood to Bellevue unless my project is successful because you need these expanded light rail vehicles in our fleet in order to enjoy the new services that Sound Transit is delivering to Puget Sound. My name is Tracy Reed. I'm the Executive Project Director for Sound Transit's light rail vehicle fleet expansion project. Today we have 62 light rail vehicles connecting you from Engel Lake to University of Washington. By 2024, trains will be longer, run more often, and connect you as far as Linwood, Federal Way, and Redmond. Pretty awesome, right? Okay, Tracy, how many more trains will we need? So when we expand our system, we have to nearly triple the fleet size. We purchased 152 new light rail vehicles. We spent about two years designing the light rail vehicle with Siemens. And that's where Jeff comes in. Hi, I'm Jeff. I work at Siemens. I'm based in Sacramento, California. I'm overseeing and managing the project for Sound Transit. Wow. This has got to be a complex process. In a nutshell, how do you build a light rail train? We build the structure, steel structure first, and that's all steel. So we'll build that, weld it all together. Uh, it'll be inspected and then it will sandblast it, prime it and paint it just like any other car you would see on the road. Uh, in parallel to that will be the uh, trucks, which is the running gear, wheels, traction motor, the thing that makes the train go down the track. And once the car shell is through paint, it'll have the floors put in it, it will have wiring put in, and then we'll start assembling the car from the inside out with all your interior panels, seats, wire up the operator's cab, and then put all the other stuff on the outside and paint it and make it look nice. It takes about eight months to build a Link Light Rail train. They're pretty high tech, with about 20 systems working simultaneously to keep riders safe and comfortable. Tracy, can you tell us about some of the cool features we'll see in these new trains? Sure, the new light rail vehicles have a lot of exciting features that catch your attention right away. First of all, they have much larger windows. We also have an expanded luggage and bike storage area. One of the features everyone notices right away is the center of the car. The very center of the car has a much wider aisle and more seating so that it'll be easier to pass from one end of the car much more easily through that space as well. As new vehicles arrive, we have to make sure that they will be safe and reliable for riders. And that's where inspection and testing come in. Sound Transit has established a very rigorous testing program for each and every light rail vehicle. So a single vehicle goes through hundreds of hours of tests before a passenger ever sets foot on that train in service. There's so much collaboration required with the engineers in California where the vehicles are designed and assembled and our team here in Seattle. The team working on this project is just bringing an incredibly high level of dedication to delivering the best product that we can for the riders in Puget Sound. The first of our new Link Light Rail trains are ready to roll and we're excited for you to check out the new trains yourself. So hop on one today and ride the wave on our new Link Light Rail trains.